This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Let me hit run here. <gasps> dinosaur. Cool. Okay. Make a dinosaur turn into a pterodactyl when it reaches the sky. Run the code to see how it works. Check. So I guess this is the sky. Maybe this is like a mountain thing. And when it hits here, it's in the sky. Add additional. Add a conditional that will change the dinosaur's animation to a pterodactyl when it reaches the sky. Okay, so what's a conditional? We've talked about this. It is an if statement. So let don't let that scare you. They mean what you're checking a condition. You're checking if something is true. So I'm going to head to control here and grab an if statement. I will put this inside my draw loop. It even says if it gets to the sky, turn it into a pterodactyl. Keep in mind the draw loop runs 30 times a second. We have the counter pattern here, right? So the dinosaur's y value, we're asking the computer 30 times a second. The dinosaur's y value will equal the dinosaur's y value minus 5. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, the computer says, okay, dinosaur y has a new y value. What is it? Well, it's the old dinosaur's y value. If we're just starting, that'd be 350 minus 5, so 45. Then we draw the sprites and uh, the background and all of that. Then we go back around. Oh, dinosaur Y has a new value. We take away five again, and it gives us the illusion of movement because it's like a flip book. It's running so fast, and the dinosaur moves negative five each time. Now, we want to know if it hits the sky. Where is the sky? I have a blank if statement. If statement, it's mad. So I'm using the X, Y down here, and I'm going to say the sky is roughly 200, 250, I'll say, something like that. So 200, 250, unless they mean way up here, but I'm doing 200, 250 for my sky. Or maybe when he's definitely in the sky, so 200, 150 for Y. So if, oh, we would only need Y though, right? So because X doesn't matter, he's not going back and forth. So Y, I'm going to put if dinosaur, and make sure you use the double equals, or I could even use greater, right? Double equals you're comparing, so if di I mean less than because zero y is way up here. So if dinosaur y value is less than 150, I'm going to say when they're totally in the sky. Let's see if we have the animation here. We do a pterodactyl. Great. So I need to set the animation world. Oh, I meant sprite. And what animation do I want to set? Well, I want to change the dinosaur into a pterodactyl. Let's give this a try. Boom! Pterodactyl! And we can mess with it, right? Maybe I want to try 200. It kind of depends on what you're thinking the sky would be. Oh, I think I like 200 more right when it's at the top. Cool. Onward.